Hi, I'm Andrew Davis, CEO of Gramophone. We're filming on site today to show off one of our latest projects. Come on in. Really excited to show you how the Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone took this unfinished lower level and turned it into an absolute masterpiece to match the existing farmhouse design. And with that, let's dive into it. So I'd like to introduce you to a very important person on this project, the lead designer, Gus Votinos from the Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone. Uh, before we get into it, Gus, I think it's important that our viewers understand that this whole project was a turnkey solution by Gramophone. So in-house, all of the trades, including electrical, carpenters, everything was built here and furnished by Gramophone. Is that accurate? That is correct. That's really awesome. Can you talk to me a little bit about um, where this project got started? Absolutely. So our customer came to us with a builder's foundation plan, something that you would get basically when you're building your project. And from there, we were able to transform it into the space you see around you today. And this is approximately 1,500 square feet, you said? Absolutely. 1,500 square feet with storage, with a bunk room, with a gym area, entertaining spaces, and also a bathroom. Well, I think that we really should take a look at how Gramophone blends uh, technology and design into awesome spaces like this. So with that, let's dive into the kitchen. Gus, there's really a ton that you fit into this kitchen space here. And I really just want to start with, you know, this back wall, some of the appliances that we have in here, some that you can't see. So we have a full fridge freezer combo. I see ice makers here, a traditional farm sink. Um, but talk to me about this, this back wall. Um, you know, I kind of expected to see cabinets hanging on the wall in a kitchen. Why this design? So with keeping with the modern farmhouse aesthetic, we wanted to eliminate anything in regards to upper cabinets. So what we did really cleanly and simply was create these floating shelf details to just display some glassware and whatnot and provide just a little bit of storage for what we're looking for, you know, for, for day to day. And this is tile back here on this back spot. You got it, you That's... got it. Our team was able to actually take care of that, installing all of that tile for us. It was also sourced through the Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone as well. Fantastic. So another thing that caught my eye down here, we've got wine bottle storage, lots of cabinet storage down here, but this is neat. So uh, this is a, uh, a built-in microwave. That is correct. So it was located in the, in the cabinetry as well at the proper height for adults, children, everyone that would actually want to access that. I can see that you can get your popcorn out of here real, real easy. Yeah. And That's it clean. Neat tucks away really nice and easily so it doesn't affect anyone as they're walking by. We have a full dishwasher, we've got built-in uh, trash can storage, and I noticed uh, one thing that's really nice is soft closed hinges you so don't get a slam. That's exactly. Awesome. So talk to me also about these floors. These are pretty unique here and I see they pretty much flow throughout the whole space. They do. Um, so they look like hardwood planks, but you said it's actually a glue down tile. You're absolutely right. This is a glue down uh, luxury vinyl tile that we continue through the whole space. Um, it's great for wear and tear. It's great for water. It's great for any kind of spills. So with a younger family, this is the ideal solution for something for a lower level or even an actual a kitchen as well. I, I, I like the word <laughs> words low maintenance. Um, and I know that uh, virtually scratch free and I, I do hear some uh, some dogs up there. So <laughs> I understand now why this was the right solution for down here. Let's take a look at the other entertainment spaces. So Gus, we're standing in the home theater space, but this doesn't look like a traditional home theater that I see from Gramophone. And what I mean by that are commonly their walls, it's a dedicated space, we've got home theater seats. Um, this is very different. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about you know, why somebody would want this? So this is an entertaining space. So what we were able to do is hide everything away. They have younger kids. So in order to kind of keep everything safe and protected, we were able to put that all in a unfinished storage area in the back of the actual space itself. 
So you called it an entertainment space, not a dedicated movie. That room. is correct. So this is more for everyday use, keeps it open in the area. I really get it and I like it. So the cable box, the Apple TV, the home theater receiver, everything's in a centralized rack. Everything's in a centralized rack. Awesome. And you were just showing me the large uh, control floor touch panel that allows you to operate this whole space. Um, I know that uh, you handed me this pretty cool remote and I've seen it work on the customer's iPhone. Um, that's really, really cool. Uh, just hearing this system a few minutes ago, um, I know that we've got in-ceiling speakers above us uh, from one of our partners at Totem Acoustic. And we've got a Totem Acoustic floor standing speakers here, as well as a subwoofer. Um, tell me a little bit about the TV. Uh, you know, I've never seen something so razor thin. Usually these things stick five to six inches off the wall. I can't see anything behind it. Pretty cool, right? Yes. So what it is actually is, is a recessed box inside the wall that allowed us to keep all of the specifics, the wiring, the rack, or the, I'm sorry, the mount itself back tight against the wall. It allowed us to push that TV really close. So you recessed a box back there to hide all the widgets that commonly make it stick out rather right. than normal. Correct. Right. Awesome. Very, very cool. Talk to me a bit, little bit about this ceiling detail again. So I know that this unfinished space did not have ceilings that looked like this. What did you do here and why? So we ended up actually creating this cloud or tray effect in the ceiling to really trick the eye into thinking that space was hollow. So actually by building the ceiling down and creating these trays, it makes you feel like you're in a taller space? Absolutely. So it's the opposite of what you would expect. Absolutely. And it also defines the spaces as you walk through the areas. I love these beams. Yeah, they're beautiful. So Gus, we're uh, standing in the game room space now. And um, I think it's important for our viewers to know that while we have all of the professionals in-house to create beautiful spaces like this, we actually work with other designers, builders, contractors. So, you know, you were saying if, if a customer has someone that they have a relationship with, we'd love to work with them uh, and collaborate. Is that correct? Absolutely. We work with local area designers and contractors and tradespeople to really fine tune our design to exactly what the client would be looking for. Perfect. So I must say the lighting down here is really, really special. So you don't feel like you're in a dark and dungeonous space. And the customer was telling us that their kids really enjoy coming down here, aside from not running away like they typically do uh, in a <laughs> basement. So all the lighting in here was wired by Gramophone's electricians. You did the lighting design for this space. Um, and I, I feel like I'm standing outside or on the first floor level, not in a lower level. It's pretty awesome. So what we were able to do is try to keep the lighting as uniform as possible. From one space to the other, everything kind of flows correctly and you do not have a drop off in light. Working at the Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone, we have electricians, lighting designers, and the rest of our designers on staff and a lighting lab that we're able to bring our clients into to show them the proper way to layer light and creating the lighting, to create the light effects that we're looking for. I really like these Lutron keypad lighting controls so we don't have you know a bank of switches, but rather a keypad that you just select a scene. Right. So you know, we've got an entertain, a movie scene, a cleaning scene, and all on, all off. Uh, I think it's great that we can light up the whole space from one button at the top of the steps. Pretty cool. So this uh, billiard table, uh, pool table here, uh, you were telling me it was laid out in a way so that uh, these sticks aren't jamming into the walls. Correct. Um, there's also a dark board over here behind you, making sure that no one was getting hit with a dart <laughs> while playing pool. And a deer antler light fixture. Who would have thought that that would work in a modern farmhouse, but very, very neat. Um, a lot of the wood in here uh, was actually pulled from a hundred year old barn. That is correct. Wood. That is correct. Very neat. So we actually have a whole wooden wall for the dartboard, a live edge bar counter over here. And to top it off, what's this? It's an electric fireplace. Very, very cool. Love the shiplap, the brick, and I know this puppy throws off some things. So we're standing in this gym and exercise space, and I know they've become such a big thing for our customers who want to work out at home. You know we've got a beverage center behind us, an awesome TV here, great speakers. I actually see a camera up here for safety, which is a great idea. 
and the customer can use their Peloton bike back here, hear it through the speakers, and watch it on the TV. That's all right. automated from the control. Absolutely. Board. So I know we've got gym tile flooring down here, so if you bang any of these weights, you're not going to damage the floors. Um, what did we do here with this mirror wall off the left? So what we did was actually mirror one wall. We actually also exposed the existing steel beam that's supporting the top two floors of the house and painted it to create a really cool industrial look in here. I love that you didn't cover that up with drywall. It's a pretty cool detail. Oh yeah, it. it's a beautiful look. Tell me about these fans. So we were able to incorporate two fans in the space to allow for proper airflow and circulation in the area. And my favorite part of the space is the brick wall and the back wall. It actually ties into the actual fireplace on the opposite side of the room as well. And the one thing that we really, everyone really tends to love about this space are the barn doors that we can really close off and use this space privately or open them up for energy. Awesome. I love it. Gus. Drew. This is an awesome, awesome bathroom water closet space. So we've got towels here for the gym. I see we have a uh, sink and uh, we've got a full shower behind us. Wow, you fit a ton in a space that allows you to enter from two locations, the bunk room and the kitchen area. Why was that important? Well, this was actually one of the client's requests. Since the kids actually like having friends over, we wanted to give them access from their side as well as giving access to the side from the kitchenette. So we were able to kind of configure the bathroom correctly or lay it out in a way that allowed us to have these two doors. So if a child wakes up at night and has to go to the bathroom, they don't have to walk all the way around the space. They can just come in from this door. I am absolutely love it. And I love the you are here. Hey Gus. Yeah? This is really awesome. I think our customers are gonna love this bunk room. And this was all from a picture. This was a client's idea that we really made shine. So what I'm seeing in here is lighting up underneath, mm -hmm. four beds built into this wall, and this was all created from a photo. From a photo. Wow. So we've got USB and charging outlets built in for the kids' phones or tablets. We've got a game system as well as a TV over here. And a fun fact, these are all color changing lights that can be automated from the control floor system. Automated right from the control floor system to any color that you'd want. Wow. Well, <laughs> this room is one of my favorites. This is the coolest space that I've seen thus far. I absolutely love this. Job well done. Thank you. So Gus, you're telling me that this whole space started with design inspiration from photos from Hal's and Pinterest? You got it. The client came to us with some inspiration photos and some ideas. And from that, we took it to what you see right now. So how does one get started for our viewers out there if they're interested in starting a project with Gramophone? Well, they can reach out to kdcmd.com or gramophone.com and they can fill out an inquiry. From there, one of our design consultants will reach out to them or they can visit one of our four design showrooms located in Hunt Valley, Timonium, Columbia, or Gaithers. Correct. Uh, you were also telling me that Gramophone offers financing for projects like this? Up to 20 years. That's awesome. Well, if you liked everything that you saw here today, please be sure to follow us on all the social media platforms, like down below, and subscribe to us on YouTube. We thank you for joining us.